with us and the side you're pointing at regarding flight 93 there just ain't no wreckage and that's it that's where it stops for me show me the evidence the hard evidence don't bring uh, uh, rumors about the coroner's yeah but the coroner has to the person who was there again a sort of person you don't accept the coroner who are an eyewitness who was there oh you did call him uh, to, to your to your to, to your aid a second ago, but when he when he seems to say something against you, you, you don't then dismiss him. No, but this is what I recall what the corona said. But uh, but uh, so if we are in a dispute about witnesses, I think we should fall back on the hard evidence because this is all we got. Okay, no parts and, of the plane found at the and scene. wait for the grand jury. Yeah, and no parts of the plane found at the scene. Wonderful. Let's wait for the grand jury. Isn't that hard evidence? Let's wait for the grand jury. Well, you, you see, the point is there may not be any need for a grand jury if the evidence is already there. What? If the evidence is already there. What? You don't think there's evidence, but everyone else does. What? If you have a crime, and would you say that there is no need for an investigation? What crime? Killing of 3,000 people, yeah, even more. By who? I don't know. This is why we need an investigation. Well, because most people accept that there wasn't the, the cr only crime was committed was by nineteen hijackers. Yesterday, a pool was uh, published. There's just been a pool among the New Yorkers. You might not know this. And when the New Yorkers was asked, "Do you want a new investigation in tonight?" 48% voted yes. Did you know that? No, I didn't know. Okay, it came in last night. This is half the population of New York. And you're talking about most people accepting? Accepting the, the official account? Yeah. Yes. But I'm talking about half the population of New York. And this is, this is hard evidence. This is a poll which has just been published last night. And you don't know. And you think that everybody is accepting. Well, it's the last true. national poll then you, you can point to. Oh, I'm, this, I'm not a specialist in So that. I thought you were just yes. asking me whether it's, a, you were just questioning whether I should know something happened yesterday. You don't know the last 10 no. years that it's when the last national poll of the, U, of the US. I, I don't think that, that you know it costs money and that nobody has come up with the money to do that. Well, it has been actually, but, but you don't know about it. Okay, just, just, you just wanted to make a point, score a point, but uh, there has, and it was a script poll, and it, it found around about just over 30% of people thought that, that either the, gov the US government allowed or in some way caused 9 11 to happen. And this is four years ago, this was 2007. Right. So apparently the percentage has. Well, it's, I don't know what the, you, you, I haven't seen it, so I don't know what exactly the question is. The question you were suggesting there is a different question to the one that Scripps asked, which is a very wide question. Yeah, you said, it's a completely different question, isn't it? You said that most people accept the official story. Based on what? Based on the Scripps national poll. There is no national poll since then that I'm aware of. If you are, then correct me. I You're talking about a, a poll in New York asking whether there should be an investigation, another no. investigation, which is a different there's, question. There's an but it's a, it is a question in New York, it's not a national poll of the US, is it? No, of course not. Okay. Just, but it's an example. I don't know, it's just, uh, it seems a strange, way, a strange point to make, but if, if you want to, we're, we're okay. clear then. Um, spoke, uh, final uh, sort of general point, so I've spoken to a, a former CIA uh, member who was um, Deputy in charge of the Counter Terrorist Centre, Philip Mudd. Um, and so the idea that the US government was in some way involved in conspiracy is, in his words, beyond imagination. Uh, the facts point in another way. Suggest anything else is, in his words, despicable. Excuse me? Despicable. What does that mean? Just um, it, insulting, I, I think is another His word. words? Yes, his words. He used the word despicable. Just despicable. Well, I mean, he's talking about his own imagination. He's talking about the suggestion that a lot of people have in on that, that you would agree with, who have suggested in some way the CIA or the FBI or the US government in any shape or form has been involved in the conspiracy to kill its own citizens. Well, he's talking about his. his I I'm, I'm apologize if. if uh, the millions of people who are questioning the official story are insulting anyone, but I can only apologize on my own behalf. 
but suggesting that, and I think you are suggesting, that they were, had a hand in murdering American citizens. I think it's more of an offensive act that you want me to believe that the hijacker can throw out his passport at 900, 600 miles per hour. You're insulting my intelligence and coming up with stuff like that. Well, I think as a representative of BBC, you're a member of the press and you're even, uh, uh, as I understand, you're, you're referring to many years of experience as a producer by BBC. I think that you should uh, stick to your role as what you call the, um, the fourth estate and be ready to ask questions no matter where they lead. And I'm glad you ask any questions that no matter where they lead. Okay. I'm asking you questions. No, no. I but, it, but I just but that's the point he made to me, and I wanted your response to that. Which, someone who's spent their life working for for the governments, like him, and there are other members of, of of the U.S. government and the FBI, find it beyond the pale, find it um, offensive to suggest that they were spent the last nine years hunting for a person who didn't exist, that they somehow had a part in killing American citizens. Which is what you are suggesting. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm asking for an investigation. And, and on the contrary, I think that all these people fighting for their countries, including Denmark, need to see, must be presented for the hard evidence they're fighting for. I think that I am doing, the person you are referring to, a great service by asking questions. I think he deserves, actually, an investigation, doesn't he? Well, I don't think he's asking for one. So? He doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't feel, feel the need. Why is he offended that, that actually the, the basic for his own work should be it doesn't, it doesn't, to be clear, what, what he said to me is that he doesn't, he doesn't, he doesn't say anything wrong with you asking questions. He's quite happy for you to ask as many questions as so you want. But, it, but the, 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 the opinion that people then have, the theory that people have, which is basically, you suggest there were explosives and incendiaries planted in three buildings at the, at the, at the World Trade Center to kill American people, it must have been carried out by someone. You actually don't like to suggest that it could have been carried out by the obvious implicated person that, and other people in, in, in the, in, who present alternatives will say this. Look, they say it's the US government in shape of They say, oh, the distant figure of Cheney and others in a small cabal were present. Ultimately, what you're saying is that US government killed its own people. It's just the other way around. It was a crime to kill 3,000 people. And I suppose that both you and I want the truth. Agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. So what's wrong with suggesting a criminal investigation of the crime? That's your, your request. Yeah. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah. Okay. And I'm not discussing other people's feelings. And I'm not, I cannot relate to anybody's feeling in that connection. I'm opposed to crime. But who carried out, who possibly could have wanted to carry out an attack like 9-11 apart from Al-Qaeda? I think this is what the investigation is all about. Give me one, one, one explanation. I don't see any. Well, give me one explanation. Why, why would you want to do it? What benefit would it have for, the, for President Bush? I'm a political scientist. Um, excuse me. I'm a natural scientist. I'm not discussing politics. So you can't see any? I am presenting, it is my duty, actually I'm a, a, an official servant, to bring my expertise and my knowledge to the public. And this is my duty. As it is your duty to put questions on any, on any explanation which is out there. And all, I'm all, all the time talking about hard evidence. I'm not talking about rumors, I'm not pointing fingers, I'm calling for an investigation of a crime. This is completely beyond... But the to, to, have a, to have any crime, as you would like to call it, one of the basic aspects of any crime is to have a motive. I don't see any motive. 
well, this is your problem. Yeah, you know, how is it? I, I don't see it. may be a problem with philosophy, you, I, but if, I it's, suppose... if it's actually a motive, I mean, it's not, it's not, the point is not me, but I mean, in any crime, you would look for a motive. Before, you, you haven't looked for a motive? Before you investigate. Well, as you investigate, it's one of the essential points of it. If Isn't it if essential in any invest criminal investigation to have a motive? If a person is killed, do you think the police is coming and asking for a motive before they start investigating? And you don't think they'd ask for a motive in their investigation? No, no but I, su I, su I suggest that you start investigating before asking for a motive. Isn't that natural? You might look for a motive during the course of investigation, but to start an investigation, 3,000 people were killed. Don't you think that should be investigated? Just because you have a limited imagination, should that refrain or prevent the police from investigating the crime? So it was investigated by the 9-11 Commission, it was invested by, investigated by NIST on several occasions over, over many years, at a cost of, of, of hundreds of millions of dollars. The 9-11 Commission was a political commission and it was not investigating the crime. It was only, it was, and it failed, uh, trying to make an account of what happened on the day and trying to take measures so that it should not happen again. And the 9-11 Commission report is also deeply flawed and, uh, and uh, but this is, has been considered by other people. I know you have met with David Ray Griffin and he is the expert on that. Now, regarding the NIST report, I have all, which addresses the technical aspects, and this is where I come in because I have read it, I would not hesitate to call scientific fraud as a cover-up. I understand on that. But you can't see any motive, you can't see... You won't. You don't. You can't. You can't see any motive to do this. Do well, this, this you is a horrific don't crime. To start to kill three thousand people is a pretty serious allegation. But you can't see a motive. To start, to start a criminal investigation, you don't have to to have a motive before you start. Agree on that? It's uh, every criminal investigator I've ever seen that it, it, it looks to a motive. I mean, shouldn't you be, as an investigator yourself, look, no. looking for a motive? No, well, I will not be investigating. I would. I look for a motive, I don't see one. Please, but you're not in the FBI. No, I'm not in the FBI. So let's leave it to the police. No, but I, I'm uh, asking questions. I ask questions. It's a straightforward question. It's a straightforward... And I thought it's a straightforward answer, but you don't see, an, you don't see any motive. But your only reference is your own lack of imagination. Okay, well, give, me, give me an example of uh, any possible motive for it. No, 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 no. I'm just saying that the facts are... The hard evidence is that 3,000 people were killed and I'm opposed to crime and I just suggest that we have a criminal investigation. Well, so the, the, the obligation is on your part, actually. The other way around is that the official explanation is, is fairly clear, um, it's very clear indeed, um, that there's all the people I've ever spoken to in terms of eyewitnesses there and actual evidence when I've seen things points to, to backs up the official account, but, the point but, but, but for the, and you have to prove that there is not only something could have carried out, but you have to show why it would be carried out. That's, that's absolutely basic, you have to try and persuade people, but you're not willing to engage in that for some strange reason. I don't know why, maybe because, it, because it's fanciful if you suggest it. <laughs> I'm because it might seem absurd. Is that the worry? Well, if you have problems with your own imagination, I think this is not... I have plenty of imagination, but, it might, but I don't want to get drift into the realms of absurdity. Of course. So, do you accept it's absurd I think to come it's, up with a motive? Uh, I think it's absurd, as I just told you before, that the whole scenery, including the 19 hijackers going into the four airliners, for which there is absolutely no evidence should be taken from the top, they have, they have actually they outfoxed FBI, CIA, 16 intelligence agencies. They got past the ticket control. There are no tickets. They're not on the original flight manifest. There are no boarding passes. There are no ground hostesses seeing them boarding the planes. There are no video evidence for them going on board the plane. They're taking over four airliners within, I think, half an hour. They are overcoming eight very mature, strong airline pilots 
four of them with military backgrounds, and none of these eight airlines pilots can just slip the hijack switch when they are overcome by these young men, and they are they are slamming two of them into the twin towers at a rate of 960 kilometers per hour. This is like threading a needle on a horseback. You can't. You just cannot do that. And as I told you about Pentagon, that you have a, a pilot, we're talking about the official account now, and what you are ready to believe. You're ready to believe that a person who could not rent a Cessna flew a Boeing 757. He had never been in the cockpit before. And he could make a maneuver one hit where he's going around 290 degrees and diving at the same time several kilometers and slamming it into the best protected and supervised surveyed building in the world after having been flying around in the airspace for one and a half hour, slamming it into the Pentagon. And this is what you believe. And you are That's talking about this. this is what you believe and you are talking about imagination. I didn't say that, no, I'm just asking a simple question. If, what possible motive is, was, no, if, saying, what if, possible motive is there that for planting explosives and incendiaries in the World Trade Center? I'm not calling for I'm I'm not dealing with motives, I'm dealing with hard evidence. And I promise you, there is no way that the three high rises came, could come down due to the impact of the two airliners. It's against basic laws of physics and it's against all the observations.